Now, North Korea has released details of this week's missile tests and claimed the missiles it launched Thursday confirmed the power of its warheads. And the regime vowed to keep on developing these types of powerful weapons. It also said the projectiles fired three days ago on Tuesday were long-range cruise missiles. Our defense correspondent Pei Eunzi reports. North Korea confirmed Friday that the missiles it fired the day before were surface-to-surface tactical guided missiles. Surface-to-surface missiles are designed to be launched from the ground or the sea to hit targets on land or at sea. The regime's state-run media KCNA said the two missiles successfully hit an island target, which proved the power of their warheads. It added that it will keep on developing powerful warheads capable of performing combat functions and missions. Photos released by KCNA show that the missiles appear to be the North Korean version of Russia's Iskander, KN-23. The photos also show that they were fired from a transporter erector launcher, which are vehicles used to carry, elevate, and then launch missiles. On Thursday, the South Korean military said it detected two suspected ballistic missiles fired toward the East Sea from North Korea's Hamung area. The military said the missiles traveled 190 kilometers at an altitude of 20 kilometers. This was the sixth launch by the North this month, coming just two days after it fired two cruise missiles on Tuesday. The KCNA also reported that what was launched on Tuesday were long-range cruise missiles, three days after it fired them. The state media said the missiles flew for about two and a half hours before precisely hitting an island target 1,800 kilometers away. It added that the combat performance of this type of missile would boost the country's war deterrence. Earlier on Tuesday, South Korean military officials had said that the North appeared to have fired two cruise missiles from an inland area. By reporting on the firing of two different types of missiles, launched on different dates, appears to be the regime's way of showing its capability to hit targets by displaying its diverse arsenal. Pei Eunji, Arirang News.